What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. This is Blue Flame, Scorpio Moon Goddess. I want to thank you guys for taking time to tune in today. I also want to thank you guys for your likes and your subscribing to my channel. That really means a lot, and that puts a big old smile on my face. So thank you to each and every one of you. Okay, so this is going to be a twin flame reading. I'm going to pull some activation cards, and we're going to see what things need to be activated between you and your twin on this twin flame journey. What messages do you have for my Scorpios today? I already got one card to hang out. Damn. My two cards. What messages do you have for my Scorpios today? And that's three, okay? Let's take these. Okay, so the first card we have, we have the number 15, which talks about compassion. This talks about supporting your ability to stand by others without judgment and to be the divine mediator between heaven and earth, spirit and matter, so that unconditional love can flow from source throughout your hearts and into the world. So I feel like when it comes to you and your twin on this twin flying journey, spirit is saying here that you're going to have to have compassion for your twin. Your twin as well as you have been through some things and there are some things that they need to heal from. So if your twin has told you some things or in the future if your twin comes in and possibly, you know, confesses or tell you what happened or what went wrong in this connection, it's like spirit is going to look at this situation and look at this person being free of judgment. It's like don't judge this person on their past, the past things that they've done to you. Just listen to what they're saying now and, and be that mediator between spirit and matter and then allow yourself to listen in a more compassionate manner so that you can feel you know not because you want your you in a way or in the past you could have wanted your twins to feel your pain but it's like sometimes you have to reflect you have to look at that look at the situation from a different viewpoint and understand why your twin acted and did the things that they did so it's like you're gonna have to look at your twin and give your twin some compassion throughout this journey i know that's easier said than done but trust me I had to do it too. I never thought I would, but it's like, you have to look at all aspects of it. You just can't look at, you know, how your twin made you feel. You have to look at the things that your twin was going through as well. Then we have Earth. This talks about this activates your deep connection to the physical plane and the beauty and all aspects of uh, Great Mother Earth. And also learning things in a more spiritual way. So I feel like here with Earth, this helps you to maybe connect with your twin. When you learn to have compassion for your twin and possibly the things that your twin has gone through, maybe through childhood or whatever experience that they have went through that made them to be in this low vibrational energy. It's like now you get to connect with Source. Now you get to connect with Mother Earth and you get to look at things in a more spiritual aspect. So some numbers some of you guys could be seeing. I know I always speak about numbers, and when I tell you, I, when I see numbers, I see numbers all the time. So I definitely be on this number game, Scorpio. So you could be seeing the number 15, 24, and then we also have the number 8, which talks about alchemy. This talks about, like, allowing mir miracles and having magical, magical, abil uh, magical abilities. This also... Um, Allowing yourself to allow miracles to happen, basically, and to remember that you all have magic. There's some magic that we all possess and hold in each, you know, in each one of us. So it's like once you are learn to be more compassionate for your twin and you start to get this deeper connection with Mother Earth, it's like then you start to believe in miracles. So these things that you've been praying for, the things that you've been wanting to happen, you know, between you and your twin and all this twin flying connection. It's like, with this alchemy being activated, it's like you allow yourself to be in an energy for these things to happen. All right, we're going to pull some lesson cards. So we're going to see what lessons you guys have learned or some things you may need to learn to be able to allow these things to be activated. So what messages do you have for my twins today, Spirit? All right, the first card we have is loneliness. I know that I am never alone. So on this twin flame journey, you could experience a period of loneliness. You could experience a time of feeling like you were alone. And so that's and, and that's why I said you had to have compassion because guess what? Just like that period of loneliness that you experienced on this twin flame journey, your twin could also be experiencing that loneliness now or this is something that they will experience in the future. So it's like you just have to have... <clears throat> Excuse me, compassion. Sorry, I have to give me some drink, y'all. 
you have to have compassion for your, your twin because they're also going through a time of being lonely. So, even though your twin wasn't there for you, I know Scorpio, they weren't there for you while you was going through your period of, of loneliness. But guess what? You, you've you risen. You've elevated. You're thinking in, in a different way now. You know what I'm saying? So, you can't want to have that get back. You just have to understand what your twin is going through and have compassion for them. Then we have fear. I realize that I am testing my love resolve to live in the energy of love. So when you learn, when you have compassion for your twin and you start to gather this deep, deeper connection with Mother Earth and you start to think in a more spiritual way, it's like you release this fear. You could have had a fear of love. Once you got through with your twin, you was like, uh-uh, I don't want to deal with no damn body else in the world, Craig. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's over with. But I feel like through fear... You know, you were being tested through, through, through different obstacles and challenges that you had when it came to love. Those were all just tests. And, and, and Spirit and, and your God was trying to test you and let you know that even though you've had those bad experiences with your twin, you know, these were things that you already feared anyway. So you learned lessons. You learned the lessons. So now you can be in, in the energy of love. You can be open to receive Love, whether this is from your twin or this is from a new soulmate, you know, whoever that spirit has lined up for you. It's like through that fear, you can learn to love. Let's look at alchemy. Then we have death. So some of you guys, it was like you had to learn that endings were merely new beginnings. So it was like now that you've closed out some cycles, now that you have ended some things, you may have walked away from your twin. You may have walked away from repeating those same cycles over and over again that wind up putting you in this energy of feeling lonely or always being hurt. It was like you were learning that those endings that you had to close after those cycles, it was only given an opportunity and a chance for you to have some type of new beginning. So you could have been often wondering, like, why, you know, if I keep going through the same thing, like, I just want somebody new, it's because you had closed out those cycles. Now that you've closed out those cycles, now you can be in the energy of knowing this that something has potential, something magical has potential to happen. Now, you can accept the fact that even if you and your twin are meant to be, that doesn't mean that spirit and the universe is not going to bless you with anybody else. You know, they're not going to let you be alone. You've done the work, and so they're going to bless you with your equal half, the person that can give you the same equal give and take that you're giving them. All right, Scorpios, that's all I have. If something resonated, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And until next time, guys, stay blessed.